Hi Virgo, welcome to the end of February general forecast. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Virgo, we're going to look at the energy around you at this time. Could be general, could be love. We're going to take whatever we get here. And I would like to apologize for the readings being late as I was very sick this whole past week with the flu, which really knocked me out. I couldn't even go to my full-time job and I've just been like out of commission for a week. So I do have a little bit of cough left, so I'm apologizing in advance for any coughing you may hear throughout the video, but I'm feeling up to doing these readings now. I'd like to get caught up. So thank you so much for stopping by. So Virgo, let's see what's going on for you. Welcome in. Hope everybody's doing well. Let's see at this time. And I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, links are below for your general in love playlist in the description box, as well as the decks I'm using social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to send a gift, tip, donate, all that information is below. And I'll also pin that some of that to the top comment. And this, uh, this is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And man, woman, doesn't matter. Only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it's not fitting for you, then it's not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Or it could be something going on with someone around you. It could be affecting you in some way also. So please keep that in mind also. So Virgo, Zodiac Oracle, we get a sign, element, or planet. You don't resonate with what comes out here. Totally fine. So what do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. Let's see. We have the sun. So you're going to be dealing with the Leo. If you're not, totally fine. Uh, maybe you have Leo in your chart. But the sun is um, all about you, your identity, who you are, your originality, what makes you, you. You know, your sun sign. It's who you are. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Then get an opening message, and then we'll get an energy. And with that energy, we'll clarify with the tarot and look at the actual situation, advice, possible outcome. And then uh, get extra messages with that deck there. So let's get an opening message for you, Virgo. Opening message for Virgo, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Let's see. And we have responsibility. Kangaroo, 39, which is 12, which reduces to 3, which is about teamwork, collaboration. Maybe you need to ask uh, people to work with you um, to divvy up responsibility. Maybe you have too much responsibility right now, and maybe you feel like it's your job, it's your, you know, it's your, it's like who you are. It's like you just take care of everybody with the sun energy there of, you know, identity. I don't know, let's see. Let's get energy for you. Dowry. So, and this has been coming up a lot also. So 42 is 6 is about healing and balance. So you may be like the one that keeps everything together in your home. You know, the dowry is like nesting. It's like building. It's like building a foundation. To something could be the home, but I'm just feeling dowry is in your home. Like you may be the, um, the rock to your home life. It's like you take care of everything. Gentle aggression here. So this just came out also. So seven, it's about being divinely guided and led um, kind of energy, very spiritual energy. So what I'm feeling is that you have a lot of responsibility in your home life. But maybe it's now time to just be a little aggressive, set healthy boundaries, Stand up for yourself. Say, look, you know, let's kind of all take joint responsibility here, not just me. And maybe you've never done that before, but maybe maybe time to do that. And I will see. We'll see. You know, the sun in the tarot, um, that is a zodiac deck, so it's a little different. But in the tarot does represent, um, it's the most positive card in the, tar in the tarot deck. So... All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Oh, it's way too many. So 
got another one. All right, so we have the Six of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. So the Six of Wands, it's about success and victory, but the Five of Swords is kind of like, kind of like an ego energy, like getting ahead at all costs kind of energy, like doing what you need to do and you don't really care. So I just feel like you just do everything because you just do everything kind of energy. You like what make your like what makes the household successful, you know, kind of energy. All right, so let's get a few more here. So we have the Empress. Yeah, exactly. And I just said that. You're, you're the one that keeps the shit together. You know, you could be male, female, doesn't matter, Emperor, Empress. You're the one that keeps everything together. Page of Swords. So it's time to be honest and truthful here. Maybe you're just getting overburdened. Ten of Cups energy here. So that is about, you know, happiness and joy, fulfillment in every way kind of energy. I think you just keep everybody happy, like all the time. Like you do what you need to do to keep everybody happy and healthy and stable and grounded. Take care of everything. But it's time to be honest here with the Page of Swords energy. You know what, maybe everybody just watches you do everything and nobody really helps out or does anything. The moon. So that could be about secrets or not seeing things clearly. Kind of energy. Um, ah! That's my cat. No, no. Come on. He's going to knock the camera over. So. So let me try to get him out of here. So yeah, the moon can be about not seeing things clearly. Uh, secrets. Um. Kind of energy. So let's see. Let's get. I don't know. I just feel like everybody just watches you do your thing. You just take care of everything. You do everything. You're the glue that keeps everything together. Eight of Wands. That's communication, taking action. And Eight of Cups. Wow. So. Eight of Cups, usually, you know, you're walking away from something no longer fulfilling. But now we got justice. Yeah, so needing justice. You may be in the energy of like, I'm ready just to walk out here. I'm just like, just can't do this anymore. Finally communicating here and saying, you know, I'm in the energy where I'm just ready to turn my back and walk walk away or something here. Justice, middle of the spread needs to be served in this situation. Balance, things need to balance out. Truths need to be told kind of energy all right my cat is like wanting attention it's not a good time right now so let's see the sun so this is double confirmation of the sun so i think in order to bring happiness into your life you're going to need to finally stand up for yourself and may you know that gentle aggression of look, look i'm ready to turn my back or something here the lovers so making a conscious choice here to do what's best for you kind of energy um this could have to do with a lover you know your significant other but if you know somebody really loves you they will they will uh man a woman up whatever here and take responsibility So let's get your advice for this situation. Ace of Wands is a fiery, passionate new beginning. Now the Queen of Wands. So being in that fiery, passionate energy. Two of Pentacles. Feeling, yeah, feeling imbalanced. Feeling like things just aren't right. And King of Swords here, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Being open, honest, truthful. Um, can use that star to cut away things no longer serving you. Telling it like it is, standing up for yourself. 
saying, you know, two pentacles, I'm juggling around way too much. This is your advice. So being in that fiery, passionate energy, setting healthy boundaries, being a little bit gentle aggression here, which will lead to things going in a better direction with the Ace of Wands being, having more time for you, zest for life again, feeling passionate and fiery once again. And maybe this person or whatever here just feels like this is just who you are, what you love to do, and it's just you. So they really don't really think anything of it because maybe you've never really said anything. But now it's time to speak up. The longer you don't, the worse it's just going to get here. So let's see what the possible outcome is here. So now you got the Ace of Cups. So self-love, self-value, self-worth, peace and happiness, joy fulfillment in every single way so it's like two let's say having two new beginnings now feeling at peace and happy and passionate again for life Four of cups so feeling bored and complacent though you may you may realize wow i got a lot of time on my hands now now i'm bored <coughs> But we have the King of Pentacles, which is your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, King or Queen, doesn't matter. So, but you know, this is about knowing your value, your worth, being smart, practical, analytical. You may get a little bored because now you have so much time on your hand, on your hands. But I think you use it wisely. Like you'll keep yourself self busy with the King of Pentacles kind of energy or you just have more time for you more time to relax take it easy divvying up that responsibility to someone who you know is your equal also that can do things that maybe they've wanted to but maybe you've always said no that could be that ego card here with the five of swords like just say no no i can do it i can do it but now it's time to say no i can't do it you know what you could do this you could do that you could do this i need me time bottom of the deck here the wheel of fortune so fate destiny things going in a better direction divine timing something meant to be the fool so you know you may be running around like a fool here doing everything for everybody yeah knight of wands <laughs> running around doing everything for everybody now hang man now having time for yourself to do what you want to do getting new perspectives new ideas you know, new hobbies, new zest for life again. Chariot, getting in your car, going for a drive, you know, having you time, me time, feeling much more balanced here with the Six of Pentacles, having much more self-value, self-worth, love, compassion, healing, peaceful energy. Three of Wands, you've waited for this. You've waited for this, and now you're finally speaking up, feeling much more stable and grounded with the Queen of Wands. So we do have the King... I mean, Queen of Pentacles, the King of Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone who is your equal. Let them do what they've always wanted to do or give them responsibility that you never, you know, could give them or wanted to give them or felt obligated not to give them or whatever here. They can be responsible and divvy up all the energy here. So we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Cancer, Pisces. Leo Sagittarius, Aquarius, Sagittarius. Uh, let's see here. What is this now? Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Leo Sagittarius. Libra, is that justice? Yep, Libra, uh, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, and the Empress there is Libra and Taurus. So a lot of different energies here. So let's get some closing messages for you here. Um, as I made a mess of my cards now, Virgo. I do ask Virgo if you're new, you like my style and how I read. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Get five a month, and I love to read the comments. Or you can check out my channel if you'd like to first. 
All right, so let's get some closing messages for you, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So you may feel like it's a miracle that now <laughs> you finally have you time. You can finally concentrate on you. You don't have to you don't have to juggle so much around. Fertility this is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, give birth to new conditions. So taking up some new hobbies, interests. Golden opportunity, important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. So give this person that opportunity to be your equal. Unconditional love. Yeah, I, and I felt that with the lovers here. And we did have a matching pair, so this definitely it could be, you know, this is your soulmate energy. They're your match. Love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So definitely unconditional love between the two of you. And then we have guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So you may want been wanting to volunteer with children or work with children in some way. Now you may have that opportunity to do that for some of you. Okay, Virgo. So best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.